Did you know that CBC analysis and morphology can help you to distinguish the different subtypes of sickle cell disease? My name is Flavio Naum and welcome to Academia de Ciencia channel. First things first, as you may know, sickle cell disease includes some subtypes, such as sickle cell anemia, which is the homozygous state, called SS, S-beta thalassemia, which can be divided in S-beta zero when the patient doesn't produce beta globin, and S-beta plus when the patient produces some amount of this globin and hemoglobin SC disease. The first difference that I'd like to point out concerns the degree of anemia. With patients with sickle cell anemia and S-beta-0 thalassemia presenting more severe anemia as compared to patients with S-beta plus thalassemia and hemoglobin SC disease. Another interesting difference concerns the MCV, the mean corpuscular volume, which for patients with sickle cell anemia, it shows within the normal range. These patients usually have a normocytic and normochromic anemia. Now patients with hemoglobin SC disease also present a normocytic anemia, but the MCV is generally close to the lower limit of normality. Whereas for S-beta thalassemia, it's a classic presentation with a microcytic and hypochromic anemia because of the thalassemia component. And now let's move to morphology. So in sickle cell anemia, as expected, we will see a large number of sickle cells which are the cells elongated and very dense. The amount of cells can vary if the patient, for instance, is presenting a painful crisis, you may see a large number of the cells. Whereas if the patient is treating with hydroxyurea, this number can be re considerably reduced. Another morphologic uh, abnormality usually seen in these patients are the Howard Jolly bodies which is in the point of the arrow. These are DNA reminiscences, and it usually uh, signifies that the splenic function is not okay, which is very common in these patients. Hemoglobin SC disease has some different features. For instance, you may see a large number of target cells and not so many sequel cells, Sometimes you have to hunt for some sequel cells in the smear. Also, you can see these different red cells, which are also elongated with stripes of hemoglobinization uh, across the cell. And if you're lucky, you may find a crystal of hemoglobin C, although this is very rare to find. And lastly, S beta thalassemia, which usually shows a more pronounced poikilocytosis with some sickle cells as presented here, but also many target cells along with microcytic red blood cells and hypochromic red blood cells. So these are basic and important information that can help you to make the correct diagnosis along with some specific tests. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to see you back in our channel.